day, YouTube. It is Wednesday. Time to go home. Before I go home, I'm gonna go work out, release some stress. By the topic of this video, by the title of this video, you can see that it is don't replace one stressor with another stressor. Simply said is, let's say you've accomplished something that was stressing you out, whatever that could be. Feel good, take a breath in, breath out, move forward, and don't replace that void, that empty space with another stressor. I think as humans, we, we tend to do that. I can understand that, I, I see that. My point is this, everybody has stressors in our lives, all of us do. But the best thing that we can do is try to reduce the amount of stressors that we have. And I have some notes here for you that I'm gonna share. At least that's what I do. That's like I'm one year from today, 31 May, a year from today will be my last day in the Air Force. I'm ready to move on to other things, away from the military uniform, and, and slow it down and reduce my amount of stress that I have. Whether it is, a stressor could be something such as traffic. Being stuck in traffic, it could be something bigger than that. Usually it is. But the small things I have to remind myself is don't let them get to me. So I do have some notes here. If you're in the circle of always or constantly being stressed, what can you do about it? The good news is you could do something about it, but it's up to you to do something about it. I would say on a scale of one through 10, the stress in my life is maybe a four, which is kind of low, which is good. And that's because of some of the things that I've done is control whatever I can control, except that there are things that I cannot control. We as humans have to remember that, that there are things that no matter how much we want to control them, we can't. However, there are some things that we can. Another thing is awareness. I'm aware of what causes me stress. My wife taught me a long time ago, maybe in 2003, to have a calendar for work, for my life, as far as what's on the horizon, and I work on that. I like to take care of things quicker rather than later. That's just how I've become. Let me give an example. Stressor could be something as you're late to work because of traffic, because of a car accident, whatever that is. I don't stress over that because I leave my house early enough to give me 10 minutes there before I'm supposed to start my shift. And if something happens, I work with a good supervisor, supervisor's team, I can let them know I'm gonna be a few minutes late, no big deal. What about if I'm going to the airport because I'm taking a vacation or I'm going temporary duty for the Air Force and there's traffic or an accident? That's a little bit different. But all you can do is, you know what, try to get there in time safely. And if you don't, yes, there's going to be inconveniences. You may have to catch the next flight. It could be the next day. But that's an example of, yes, okay, I can understand there's a little bit of stress. Again, for me, I leave way early. So if something happens and I have to take an alternate route, I'll do that. I talked about control. Remember that there are some things that we can, can control and some things that we cannot control. Remember that. Another thing for a stressor that helps me is anytime I need help, I'm going to seek help. Whether it's talking to a friend, say, hey, I need your ear for a moment. Do you mind listening to, to me? Or a professional. I've had to seek out professionals in the past, whether it was marriage counseling, or I'm gonna give you a perfect example in just one moment recently that I sought professional help. Before I do that is it's up to us as individuals to take the lead and say, hey, I need something from this person, this friend, this professional. We have to take the lead. Obviously, some people don't. Maybe it's because they're not aware or because they don't know or they don't care. I don't know. It's going to be a variety of reasons, but we have to take the lead. Think of it like this, you've heard that saying, you can lead a horse to the water, but you can't make that horse drink, and that's true. So we have to be aware, we should take the lead. I'm sharing with you what works for me. 
Now, to give you a perfect example of a recent uh, challenge that I had was anxiety. Four months ago, three and a half months ago, on Valentine's Day 2017, my mother passed away unexpectedly. And I had to fly out to Los Angeles and deal with her condo, deal with her funeral, deal with her ceremony, deal with her property, 29 years of living in a condo, deal with her pets, deal with everything. I had 15 days of constant stress of what do I have to do and how, do I, how am I going to make this happen? On top of that, I didn't get to work out for 15 days. And that may not seem like a big deal, but to me it does because when I work out, that's my release. So I had to see a doctor. The doctor told me about a month and a half ago, your mind is very active. Your mind wants to do this, it wants to do that, whatever that could be. It could be work, it could be go for a hike, it could be YouTube, it could be whatever that I like to do on my time off or at work. But your body is having trouble keeping up with your mind. And that's why I decided to retire and slow things down, primarily for my own health, for my own benefit. Health is priceless. Finances are important too, but health is completely at the top of that list, in my view. So the doctor gave me anxiety medication. It kind of helped, but at the same time, I continue to work out, and I'm very optimistic in my outlook. That's the next thing. It was, what is your outlook in life? Again, what is my outlook in life? My outlook in life is 80% positive at a minimum, 20% maybe unsure, maybe doubt, maybe worried, but it's, it's a healthy percentage, 80 positive, 20 negative. What is your outlook? Sometimes we as individuals have to change our outlook if it's not proportioned the way it should be. If we are 20% optimistic and 80% pessimistic, that's a problem, at least in my world, in my view, that's a problem. So outlook is key. That's something that we can definitely control. When I went to go visit the doctor, that's a perfect example of awareness. I need help and talking to someone, a friend isn't going to help me at this point. It's I need help by a professional and that's exactly what I did. I talked about exercising, finding my release. What's your release? A healthy release that makes the stressor or stressors in your life be reduced or go away. Maybe not all of them, but some of them. Working out, talking to someone, talking to a friend, talking to a professional, maybe medication, whatever it is, but there are healthy ways for us as individuals to find a release make sure you have an action plan. An action plan is simply saying, here's my challenge, how do I get over it? Or how do I move forward in a positive direction? And that is, you reach out to the resources around us as individuals that we have. And we do have stressors, but we also have resources available to us. Life is going to happen to all of us, whether it's traffic, whether it's the death of a loved one or something in between. It's going to happen to all of us. Planning, in my opinion, is a very good thing to do, whether it's planning financially, planning for your transition, planning for your retirement, planning for whatever you have to deal with in your life. Something that is very important, and sometimes people don't think about this, and I hope if you've never thought about this, that you remember this, is laughter. Laughter is very important. I love to laugh a lot. I'm silly. If you knew me as an individual, I'm very silly. My mentality is probably like a 15-year-old boy, appropriately, not in a bad way, but I'm also mature at the same time. I have a combination of both things, and I like to laugh a lot, even with my teammates at work, people that I supervise. I surprise them sometimes because they may say, hey, you're just business mode all the time, but that's not true. The people that really know me, whether it's my teammates, my family, my friends, know that I have a silly side to me. Laughter goes a long way. If you are a worry wart, you've probably heard that term before. It's not a good thing. I challenge you to be aware if you are or if you're not and do something about that. 
maybe make some adjustments because worrying isn't going to solve anything. I was a worrier in the past, not too bad overall, but I've gotten better at that as well because all of us have something that we can improve on. Hopefully this has been helpful. It's time for me to change, go work out, go home and relax. Taking one more vacation next Friday, I think, uh, not next Friday, next weekend with my wife, St. Martin, the complete opposite of stressors. We're gonna be in the Caribbean for about a week or six days and have a good time. Make the most of your time. Always seek assistance. Always find someone that you trust and share what's on your mind because nobody reads minds. Have a great day. Take care.